Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to solve liquid problem number 567, permutation in string. So in this problem, we are given two strings, S1 and S2. And we need to find if the string S1 is present in S2 in any permutation. That means that um, the order of the two, uh, the order of the characters in S1 can be any in S2. However, they should be together. So let's look at this example here. So we have the string S1, which has two characters. And now we need to find any permutation of S1 in S2. So what's the permutation of S1? Basically, the first one is the string itself, AB. The other one would be BA. So these are the two permutations of S1. Now let's look. Do we have any of these two strings in, in this string S2? Well, of course, we have a BA here, right? So which means that we found our permutation of S1 in S2 and hence we'll return true. But what in case we have this string here? Alright, so if we have this string which has S1 as AB, but S2, it has an a and it has a b but they are separated by a character here right so this doesn't mean that it's a permutation for the permutation both a and b should come together like here since they are separated so we are not going to count that as a permutation of s1 and hence we return a false here so now how are we actually going to solve this problem? Let's look at that. So what do we do is we start from the very beginning and we start looking uh, for the length of S1. So since the length of S1 is 2, so we look for the first two length and does these two characters in this window of length 2 um, have any permutation of s1 well now right so what do we do is we now increase uh shift our window so what we are going to do is we move to the next two elements and it doesn't consist the permutation so we move on to the next one and then again we move on to the next one and here we found our permutation and then we return a false but here in this case we'll never find our permutation because ei is not the permutation of ab again id then we move to the next one that is db it's not again the permutation and then we move to the next that is bo and then oa so it consists of one character that is O, but there is no B, right? So we keep moving on unless we reach the end and then hence we finally return false in this case. So that is how we're going to solve this using a sliding window method. Now let's start coding our solution. So um, one thing to keep in mind is that here we are only given a string of two characters and both the characters are distinct right what if in case we were given s1 which had uh, something like this all right and now we have a string s2 which is equals to something like um a e Okay, S, B, A, B. If we have something like this, then what do we do now? Um, to check for the duplicates, we actually need a map, right? Uh, if we cannot do just do it with the set because set doesn't keep track of duplicates so we will need a map so the map in the map will store the number of counts of each of the character in the string s1 so that would be one this for string s1 here and now in s2 we are going to check the first uh, three characters because that's the window that we get and we check that we have an a right we have an a um, so we update the value of a by decreasing it to by one 
so now a is equals to one but here now we find that uh, we have a value e and e is not in the map so what do we do is we um reset our map to its original value and then we shift our um window by one and we keep on doing that until and unless we have reached um our answer but now let's look at this window here b a b right so if we had used a set the set would only have two characters a and b in the set and since all of these three characters would be found in the set that would return true but we do not want that right so that's why we use a map so in the map we found one b and then we decrease the value of b by one now b is equals to zero we found an a so now we decrease the value of a which becomes equals to one we found another b here now is the value of b greater than zero no it's not greater than zero which means that there is only one b in this string as one however we have found two b's in our window so that means that um this window doesn't have the the permutation of the string that we want and hence we move to the next value and so on so now that we know how to solve this problem let's start with our solution so we are going to need a map and for the map We are going to store the elements in C1 in S1. So if map has the character C, if it doesn't have, all right, then what we're going to do is we are going to set the value of C as zero, and then we are going to um, finally update the value of C by getting the value of c from the map and then updating it by one now we have our map now we need to loop over the characters each of the characters in the string s2 so start from the first i should be less than s2 the length all right let me just use m equals to s1 dot length and and equals as to the length all right so that would be less than m minus m less than and equals to y because okay let me just complete this so y m minus n because let's just look at this example so suppose we have reached this index here and we only want our i to be equals to um six that is it if we reach this value we are not going to we need a window of two right so for that case we always need to keep our window the uh, size equals to two but when we are at this index the size of the window cannot be it cannot be two it would be less than two right so since we need to keep the track uh, keep our window size equals at least two that is at least n so that is why we keep the value of i equals to um at least m minus n so that means if i is equals to six then we'll still have a window of two here so now let's create a for loop for our window that would start from the index i and that would be less than equals to i plus n okay not equals to but less than all right less than i plus n and j plus plus so we are going to increment our window size all right so j would be equals to i so if this index is j then that would be equals to less than i plus n that that is um this plus n that would be uh, i plus 2 less than i plus 2 right if i is equals to 6 here and i plus 2 is equals to 8 right so it would be less than the length of that one all right so we have found that and done that now we are going to check if 
okay before that let's create a temporary map so that we can update our map um, if we have not found reset so that we could just reset our map all right so if temp has the character c and temp dot gate c is greater than zero that is if the count is greater than zero then what are we going to do is um we are going to update the value of the uh, character c that is the count by decreasing it by one so so we decrease it by one and we keep on moving on else we break that is if we did not find any character in the in our map that is that means that we have not found our permutation that's not the permutation so we break from the loop and then we move to the next uh, sliding window but if okay let me just define this as global variable here i mean in this is scope outer for loop if j is equals to um i plus n that is if we have reached the end of the window which means that we have found all the characters within the window that is when we are going to return true else we return false if we did not find anything and now let's try to run our code i did a mistake here that would be n and this would be m here let's run here all right so we also need to define c so what c c is equals to the character at index j in string s2 all right cool now let's submit our code great all right so talking about the time complexity uh this is o of m o of n time complexity and this whole thing is o of n times since we are doing this for n number of times so that would be of m times n so it's basically of m times n time complexity